Hey everybody, I just got back from my Nashville trip. It's in the evening, I'm a little tired, but I wanted to get this video done while all my experiences from Nashville were fresh in my head. Because hopefully there's something that can help somebody out there and just interesting to share my thoughts and my observations about this trip. So I've never been to Nashville before and it was a, a tremendous experience. It was a um, vacation, extended holiday or a long weekend trip that I went to with my wife and some of my family. Um, and I did all the things that you're supposed to do with the Grand Ole Opry, I went to the Ryman Theater. Um, but it was supposed to be a fun, relaxing, enjoying, get away from working in all this crazy music promotion stuff and just refresh the batteries. But you can't be a musician, right? And you can't be serious about your craft and you can't want to not be the best you can be and not be learning and studying when you're in the music capital of the world, right? Um, and so I did have an opportunity to see and learn and experience some great things that I want to share. So um, I spent most of my time in Broadway, if you've ever been there, uh, and on Printer's Alley. If you've ever been in Nashville, is where all the clubs and all the bands, and it's an amazing place in the fact that if you like live music, you will see, I don't know, hundreds of bands. Um, because every place has at least one and many, you know, three or four levels of, of bands. And, and I wanted to see the authentic bands. I wanted to see the honky tonks and the, and, you know, and, and you're in Nashville, I want to experience the great uh, country music. Even though I'm not a country music fan, I'm a lover of music no matter what it was. And so I went there and I said, I want to go to the honky tonk. I want to go to the blues places. I want to experience the music. So I did that and spent, you know, the better part of three days traveling from club to club, probably with more than, you know, one drink in my hand, um, and enjoying the music. So here's what I learned from that time in downtown Nashville. First of all, um, there are thousands of amazing musicians out there in the world. I mean, I was humbled by the quality of the players, especially the, the guitar players. I mean, those... National guitar players were all amazing. Great vocalists, great talent. If you want to make it in this music industry as an instrumentalist, in other words, to be known as a player, if you will, you better have triple A game because there are a lot of great players out there. Number two, I was impressed by the sound quality of every venue I went in. So most of the venues use in-ear monitors. Um, they weren't enormously big stages, um, but they had top quality uh, PA equipment and audio equipment. So the bands really sounded phenomenal. So another thing that I took back is always bring my A game and my best, my best um, to making sure the band sounds phenomenal because an audience member, you appreciate that. So second thing that I was really impressed with was quality of the sound and the audio of these bands. And I guess, um, thirdly, it was amazing to see how quickly these bands set up and broke down and how mobile they are. I think when you're playing in downtown Nashville and you're playing, you know, from 10 in the morning to 3 in the morning and you've got to have four or five bands sharing the same stage, you get pretty good at minimizing your equipment to the smallest package you can carry right? And setting up fast and knowing what you're doing. So when I was watching bands break down and set up, I was really impressed by their ability to, to do that. So that was cool. Um, let me tell you a couple things I learned about me in that trip and things that I think hopefully will make my musical path even better. Um, most of the bands I saw were cover bands. Now, they were great cover bands. Don't get me wrong. They were amazingly true to the music. But I did see a lot of bands that were doing creative, uh, you know, interpretations of music, that were doing um, a lot of original material. Um, so if you went there to have a good time to see great country and hear great country music that was copied by great bands, you're in the right place. 
one band that I was drawn to, which was in a club, I can't think of the name of the, of the club now, was a band that did these creative interpretations of other songs. They did like Purple Rain, for example, by Prince, and a cool country rock. It was just, you know, it was amazing. It was excellent. But the other bands were excellent, but they were really cover bands. Um, and so for me, what I learned is stay true to what I do best, which is to write good songs and put my heart and my soul into those songs so I can give the audience something creative and refreshing. If you want to see a cover band, that's great. There's lots of great cover bands out there. But if you want to see creative, exciting, hopefully music that touches you, that's what I want to be able to deliver. That's my niche. And that's one thing I learned. The second thing is, I didn't think the bands were all prepared with these, I don't know, these shows, if you will. I thought it was, you know, there was a lot of talk between songs. There was a lot of, of, of haphazardness to the way they put things together, in my opinion. Um, and there wasn't always a lot of energy in those performances. Now, granted, you know, it must be tough to be playing, you know, to uh, a half-drawn crowd, packed, packed with people. Um, so that must take a lot of energy out of it. But, you know, for me, it made me come back and say, I've got to keep with my commitment, my 100% commitment to always give everybody at any one of my shows 100% of the energy and attention and the focus that I have. So I want them to walk away feeling like they, they got on a jet fire, they got on a, on a rocket ship that launched, took off, and just never stopped. And I didn't feel that way necessarily about all the bands that I saw in Nashville. No disrespect. Again, I saw some bands that were amazing, some guitar players that I bought a drink because I was, wow, I mean, the technique, the, the things they did. But those were the two things that I said, I can do better, maybe than they can do. And what I want to try to deliver to my fans when they come out to see a show. Great original music and super high energy that just keeps on going and going and going. So um, I want to share those thoughts because by tomorrow I'll be in the middle of it again and I'll forget them. And hopefully these are helpful to some of the musicians that are out there. It also reemphasizes my commitment to my fans to always deliver the best live music that I can every time, whether there's one person in the audience or a thousand people in the audience. I'm committed to always giving my best. So um, thank you for that. I hope you enjoyed these few thoughts. Um, if you go to Nashville, enjoy it, or get to Nashville. If you haven't been there, it is an amazing place to be. Again, he's the capital of the world. Peace and love. See you at one of my next gigs. Come to a concert. See you soon.